Campus is buzzing here at Canisius College as a new school year is upon us. Multiple teams had their first victories of the season and three additional teams will get their fall campaign started later this week. I'm Griffin Della Pena and you are watching Around Canisius Athletics presented by Niagara Scenic Tours. The volleyball team went two and one in their first weekend series in Purdue Fort Wayne as Tom Hanna picked up his first win of his Canisius tenure. After losing the first match against Lindenwood, Canisius won back-to-back -back matches later on Friday night against Purdue Fort Wayne in five sets, and then on Saturday as well against Western Illinois. This weekend, the volleyball team will travel to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for the Duquesne Robert Morris invite as they will play the Dukes, the Colonials, as well as William and Mary. This week, the women's soccer team split their two games as on Friday, they beat the Cornell Big Red for their first win of the season after being up 2-0 at halftime and holding on for the 2-1 win. This past Sunday, they traveled for their first away game of the season at Detroit Mercy as the game was tied up until the 87th minute before the Titans had the game-winning goal. It also goes to note that Skylar Cornell and Emily Brewer, two freshmen on the team, had their first collegiate goals. And this week, the women's soccer team will play two games on the road at UB on this upcoming Thursday and this Sunday at Colgate. The golf team will get their season underway against Little Three rival St. Bonaventure in Olean at Barlett Country Club on August 30th before attending another tournament, this time hosted by Colgate at Seven Oaks Golf Course on Saturday and Sunday. The men's and women's cross country team will also face St. Bonaventure later this week for the Little Three Championship on Saturday. The men's soccer team rebounded after a 4-0 loss in their season opener at Cleveland State last Thursday with a very hard fought match on Sunday against the Duke and Dukes. The Dukes were coming off a 1-0 win against the Michigan Wolverines and that was also the final score against the Griffs. Now Canisius will transition to two home games this upcoming week against brand new Division I team Stonehill on Friday and a home match against Dartmouth on Labor Day. So that's going to do it for this episode of Around Canisius Athletics presented by Niagara Scenic Tours. Make sure to follow all of our social media channels as well as visit gogriffs.com. Signing off for Griffin Della Pena and my good friend Petey. We'll see you next time. As always, go Griffs.